hello everyone so in this video we are going to see first real QDA program what we are going to do we are going to add two numbers but uh, this calculation we will perform on GPU not on CPU so before writing this program you need to understand few things like uh, when we say CPU and its memory uh, we can combinely say host and when we want to say GPU and GPU's memory we can say device so the thing is that if CPU wants to access some value that value will be accessed from CPU memory and if a GPU wants to access some data it will access it from GPU's memory now uh, in host program all we can work on CPU memory so let me write the code for you so we need to add two numbers so here I'm taking I'm creating three pointer so these pointer will be provide uh, using these pointer we will reserve space in memory for CPU and we are also declaring pointer for GPU memory okay so the these three part it will allow us to reserve space in GPU memory and it will be used as CPU memory so if we want to reserve some space in CPU memory we are aware of the syntax malloc so when we write this part memory will be allocated dynamically allocated to a so similarly we will do for a b and c okay now the thing is that how we are going to allocate memory to these three pointers like we we need to allocate gpu's memory so for allocating gpu memory there is a function cuda malloc so in first in this one you need to pass two parameters first parameter will be pointer of pointer so if you can see this one this is already a pointer but you need to pass pointer of pointer and uh, whatever it will return it will be type casted into integer type double pointer so we are going to do same for dev b and dev c so here we have allocated memory in cpu and here we have allocated memory in gpu now the next part is that we will take some value from user Okay, we will store these value in A and B. So A and B are already a pointer, so no need to write address operator. Okay, so here our function, uh, this function actually by default added in every CUDA program when you create a project in Visual Studio. And if you want to define some other function, it's fine, but we are going to use the same one. So in this function what we are going to do we are going to pass three pointer and what this program will do this program will perform addition over first two and store the result in third one so now the thing is that the value given by users user are stored in CPU memory and if we are going to call this function which is which will be executed on GPU so GPU can access only GPU memory so how this GPU going to access CPU memory so the thing is that we have allocated some space in GPU memory so what we will do we will transfer value from A and B to Dave A and Dave B so how we can do that so here we are having QDAMM CPY this is a function so this function first we will we need to write out where we want to transfer value from which variable we want to transfer value and uh, what is the size of size in number of bytes 
so integer takes two byte or on some platform I also take four so it depends actually so that's why we are writing size of int and at last you need to specify what kind of transfer you are doing you are transferring value from device to host yeah or host to device or host to host or device to device so here we are making transfer from CPU memory to GPU memory so we need to write host to device okay so we, in this line when this uh, statement is executed value from a will be copied in GPU memory as well okay so we are done with transfer now we will call this function which will be executed on GPU so how this function is called we need to write add kernel then three less than symbol and here you need to pass some parameters so we are going to pass one one so what is the meaning of this one one uh, just wait uh, let me first pass the parameter okay so the meaning of this one one is that in CUDA whenever you execute a program that program is actually executed on uh, grid of blocks and each block uh, can have any number of threads there will be some limit so that this first number is specify how many number of blocks and the second will specify number of threads per block so if I specify 1 comma 5 it means this function will be executed only using one block and that block will be having five threads if you want some more threads you can increase number of block you can increase number of thread but in our case this is uh, this calculation can be performed by using a simple thread so when this function will be called this function will perform the calculation and the result will be stored in Z so what is Z here if you can see our result will be available in dev C now we want to print that value but if we are going to use printf, printf can access CPU memory. So we need to make a transfer from tab C to C variable. So again we will write CUDA mem CPY C tab C size of int CUDA mem CPY. So this time we will write device to host because we are transferring value from device to host from GPU memory to CPU memory so now values are available in C so we simply printf result is because C is a pointer that's why we need to use dereference operator so our program is done we are going to build this program okay so there are some errors let me see what are those errors also so error is that sorry for that so now it's done let me run it so let's pass some value 12 20 or let's say 34 so uh, result is 46 and that's correct so this calculation is performed by GPU thank you very much for watching